Now these look like they are crate and barrel red tea light holders. Remember in my last video, we found that Japanese dragonware cup with a secret. Well, these have a secret as well. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. Today is the 4th of July and while Chris is firing up the barbecue, I popped out to do a little bit of thrifting. We are at my favourite Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne here in Vegas. It's really hot today, about 103, but not as hot as yesterday. We topped out at 114 here in Las Vegas yesterday. It was amazing. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting! Today I'm on the lookout for a couple of things that uh, subscribers have said that they wanted on the shelves and I've been trying to think of a more effective way for you guys to let me know um, if there are things you want on the shelves. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. Let's go inside. Let's grab a cart. Oh, not that one. <laughs> Here we go. I've got my thrifting Vegas blanket and my reusable shopping bags. Our color of the week is blue. All blue tags, 50% off. Hey, Mario. Hey, how are you? Hey. Good, how are you? How are you too? Thank you. Quite a few of you are planning a summer trip out to Las Vegas and you've asked me what is the best day to shop at Goodwill? Honestly, there are no bad days to shop. Tuesday through Sunday, there is a color of the week where all tags of that color are 50% off and those tags are a dollar on Mondays. There's also Senior Wednesdays, seniors get 40% off as well as military teacher and first responder discounts. As far as the shelves being full, I like to go on Fridays. I feel like they restock for the weekend, for the bigger crowds, but some of you have suggested in the comments that everybody donates leftover garage sale items on Sundays. So Mondays or Tuesdays might also be a good time to shop. Goodwill has 17 locations here in Southern Nevada, all doing amazing work to help locals get job training and the help they need to secure employment. With almost 40 million pounds of usable items diverted from the landfills and onto Goodwill shelves, chances of finding treasure are really, really good. Here we are in the hard goods section and it's Christmas in July. We have an entire row of seasonal goodies waiting to be found. Lots of candles here, some plush decorations and tins, plates and wreaths. This is a plastic tray, Christmas tree holder, more wreaths and baubles. These, I believe, are placemats, plastic metallic placemats, some signs. This fellow is interesting. He is a Mexican pottery piece, a bull. I think he's a bank. Unfortunately, his ear is very, very damaged. The whole end of it is missing. There is the money bank slot. He's marked Mexico. I'm just giving him a shake to see if there's anything inside. He feels empty. With that damage, sadly, we're going to leave him. But back here is one of my favorite things, <laughs> a glass Christmas tree canister. I love this one because it's a uh, green to clear fade. I wonder if there are any more. We'll have to keep an eye out. Oh. <laughs> That's plastic. I thought it was glass. Lots of mugs, a chalkboard. 
These are sweet little pine saplings, but sadly they are $6 a piece, a bit too much for me for resale. I wonder what this is, Laramie River Station. I don't think, possibly a coaster, maybe a little plaque. This is a project piece, little house lamp. Not crazy about the colors on that. Santa music box, Ooh, snowmen, salt and pepper shakers. These are $4. They're ever so sweet. They look to have no damage on them. Very nice and clean. Let's pop those into our cart. Lots more decorations. Disco ball minis back there. Here's a baggie of goodies. Ooh, look at this guy. He is a hula doll. Not sure about that. I don't know that I've ever seen a hula man dancer. We'll bear him in mind. I should probably pop him in the cart. Let's see what else we can find. This is so exciting. So many Christmas goodies to look through. Another wreath. That's a very patriotic wreath, that one. One of those velvet Christmas cards. There was a box of these here the other week. I wonder if it came out of that. Little reindeer, sadly some damage on him. This is interesting. It looks like a glass ornament, doesn't it? Like a Kurt Adler, but it's a planter. I don't think I've ever seen that before either. These are, ooh, they're little tea light holders in the shape of presents. Some gift boxes, not ever such good quality those. They look like mosaic, but I think they're plastic. Little snowman spreaders. These are fun. A set of pool balls, but they are string lights for a Christmas tree. The perfect gift for your favorite pool or snooker fan. We'll have to give those a plug in to make sure they work at the testing station. Little Scrabble block there. Let's pop these into the cart. How much are they? Seven dollars. I still feel there's enough room to make some profit on those. So there we go. Let's keep going here. Wall hangings, here is Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus relaxing on the couch. They are plastic faced. Let's see. This is, oh, it's an Avon ornament. Let's have a look at this. Beaded, beaded flowers. This is really pretty, not necessarily Christmas, more of an Easter or spring decoration. I'm not familiar with this one, but I shall give it a look up on eBay, look in the solds to uh, see if it can make us some profit here. We'll pop it in the cart right in the middle so I don't forget that I need to look it up. Big flocked wreath. What is this? This looks like a fishing float, one of those that's usually surrounded in the, the jute net. I don't know that there's anything to be made on it just as is like that, just the one. If it was a different color, maybe pink or amber, uh, I would probably pick it up. Here is quite a nice snow globe in surprisingly good condition for Vegas. As I was explaining in my last episode, most of them are um, yellowed from dust and algae. And more often than not, a lot of the water has evaporated out. These look like they could be silver plated little napkin rings. Not sure. Let's put those in the cart. I don't know that they're ever such good quality, but um, I'm probably going to think about these. Have a closer look through the bag to see if there are any markings on them, um, any silver plate markings or even 
quite unlikely, but possibly sterling. 95 or the word sterling will indicate they are solid silver. Here's a couple of really big ornaments. Not really, my parents have some of these, but not really their style. They're a bit swirly. Here's a rubber face rolling Santa. He's $3.00. These used to be quite popular, but unfortunately now I think they only sell for maybe $10 to $12. Um, I could be wrong. Let's, let's um, put him in the cart and we will look him up on eBay as well. This is a, oh, it's bigger than I thought. I thought it was a bathroom towel, but it looks like it's a actual bath towel. So we'll leave that. Not really sure what this is. Looks like a hamster, a dolly in a ho hamster costume. Not really my niche there. A little wall hanging. The H, probably the H in ho 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 or happy holidays. Lots and lots of tins over here. We are here in the figurine and knickknack aisle. The first section is seasonal. Some fall bits, scarecrows and pumpkins. Wreaths and cornucopias. Oh, look at this. This is a Greek tragedy mask. I thought it was metal, but it feels more like terracotta. It's $8. Oh, it's marked and signed. It says tragedy row doll possibly I really like that eight dollars but there's definitely room for profit in that we'll pop this carefully into the cart with things like masks folks often have collections so do have a look see if there is more than one some melamine trays more wreaths. Here is a Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day section. They really do a good job at this goodwill of separating the holidays. Easter up here. Some baskets. And now we are into the figurines proper here little candle holder and a picture. Here are more masks. Let's see, they look mostly like souvenir pieces, Mardi Gras, New Orleans. This one is quite interesting. Look at this butterfly. It's signed. The brand is Masquerade. That one is very interesting. Some more here. It's a blue one. This one looks a bit robotic, doesn't it? Why don't we take this one and have a look on eBay um, to see if the company name or artist is listed. So I'm going to grab my phone. I've typed in masquerade and the name of the artist here. Let's see what comes up. $15.17.25. Not super high prices. There's 30 for two of them. Let's look at the sold. So I'm going to go filter scroll down to sold items we'll push the button click off and unfortunately as you can see none of them have sold here's a tinsel party decoration palm tree a painted resin mask made in china they want 13 dollars now these look like they are crate and barrel red tea light holders. Remember in my last video, we found that Japanese dragonware cup with a secret. Well, these have a secret as well. I will reveal all once again in the hall. There's a sweet little figurine here. Another Vegas Knights bobblehead. This is Riley Smith. The Knights won the Stanley Cup last month. So exciting. $8. Let's put Riley into the cart. We all check solds on eBay on him. 
let's keep going glass mosaic bowl this looks like it could be California pottery no it isn't that old just a contemporary piece a tri footed little stand cake stand you could always use it in the bathroom for display some sconces those colored flash painted tea light holders are still there candles iridescent gans wax warmer those little jar plants are still there here is a tea towel doesn't feel very old it's very stiff 1971 calendar I'm wondering this whether this is actually vintage or whether it's been reprinted I have a feeling they do that on Etsy you know you can request a year and they'll reprint a calendar and design with whatever year you select so we will leave that there let me know in the comments um, if if you know of that or whether I made a mistake leaving the tea towel behind candle shade vases oh look at this Catalina products I wonder if this is part of California pottery it's really really pretty hand painted candle a little trinket dish for three dollars we'll get those a Japanese teapot quite uh, lightweight a bit of damage on there so we'll leave that these are fun but sadly the antenna on these uh, this particular fellow on the left have been repaired it's quite sad I don't know what the characters are from let me know if you know but uh, yeah his antennae have been glued back on all sorts of bits here butter dish base bowls dishes a tray that chicken strange object is still here a few of you suggested some uses for it but do let me know if you know there's a box here christening doll more dolls over here there's always so many dolls in thrift stores it's such a shame you can occasionally find one that's worth buying sadly in Vegas a lot of the plastic dolls are heat damaged their faces are distorted uh, from being left in garages or out in the sun in a window little sauce dipping trays possibly a vase which is contemporary an Asian fan plaques and signs over here it is a project piece vase I think painted to look like glass not a bad job at all checking up on the top shelf baskets here is a little bunny tea light holder for two dollars these sell ever so well for me especially at Easter so we'll pop him into a cart some bottles canisters that's a little candle holder looks like it came from either Target or Big Lots if you're enjoying the video it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen to accommodate Christmas in July they have condensed the vases planters and florals into half an aisle here as you can see it's mostly clear glass florist pieces I just want to have a look at this 
candlestick back here ever since I found that Tiffany and Company candlestick at the other Goodwill on Rainbow and Altar I've been paying closer attention to the crystal this one's not marked and eight dollars so we will leave it on the shelf colored pieces planters and pots down here here is a red glass piece this is a biscotti jar from nonnies it looks like uh, mosaic it's actually just textured but unfortunately missing its lid I thought this was an old metal lunchbox but it's actually housing for a card game down here we've got a milk jug style container could be used as a vase pitcher made to look old this looks like Mexican pottery, but it's uh, for, from a floral company. This is lovely. Absolutely gorgeous telefloral piece. Ceramic rose. Unfortunately, it is missing the top petal that goes right here. Maybe someone with extreme talent could uh, come in and create the missing petal from some clay and paint it. Wouldn't that be amazing? All sorts of floral pieces here. More of those glass jars. That is interesting. Sausages in Chicago. <laughs> Baskets. Here we are in the mug section and I have spotted a pink mug with green M&M on it. Looks like it is sweet treats for Valentine's Day. I think this is just about a 10 to $12 piece. So we're going to leave that for somebody else. I'm scanning the shelves here. That looks like Mickey Mouse standing in the middle of Old Main Street. It's only $2. Looks like it's got some age to it. Let's definitely put this into our cart. We'll keep going on the shelves just to see if anything else jumps out at us. That is part of a modern set, possibly Gibson. Let's go to this next section. Christmas mugs, there's a teddy bear. That piece is made in Korea. I think we've looked at this before, yeah, the fishing scene. But behind it, this is Fitz and Floyd. And I'm excited because I've never actually found one of these in the wild before. But unfortunately, it has a massive crack on the base. Doesn't appear to go through. But still, when I run my nail over it, oops, you can't see. When I run my nail over it, it is definitely a crack. But I'm going to pop it in the cart and just find out the value of that for my own knowledge. We'll see if there are any more. I believe those came in a set with another type of bird, possibly a parrot. This is, I believe, a Delft blue little souvenir piece teapot. Not ever so vintage. We'll leave that. Lots and lots of mugs, as you can see. Moving into the glassware. Glasses and tumblers. This is a Mexican piece of glassware, possibly handmade with the cobalt blue rim. Only one, unfortunately. Let's see. This is pretty. It has a George Briard look to it, mid century, but by the feel of it, I think it is a modern reproduction. Pretty green glass. It's a Minecraft uh, pinata there. <laughs> we'll make our way round the corner here into the kitcheny bits. Here's a divided dish. Lots of clear glass as usual, bowls and trays, cake plates, 
and jars. Just getting my black light out to test the clear glass. I've had many requests to shine my black light over the shelves just to see if anything lights up. It's a pretty water jug. Nice cobalt blue glass uh, vase back here. Not hand blown. Quality isn't great. Probably a florist piece. Nevertheless, quite nice. I just don't have uh, room for big pieces in my booth at the moment. I'm testing these plates with a black light. They do have a bit of a fire and light look to them. But uh, as I look more closely, the texture is wrong. It has more of uh, the plates have more of a honeycomb texture on the bottom rather than uh, recycled swirls and uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments please but I do not believe that these are fire and light the weight is right but uh, the pattern is not so unfortunately we are going to leave these on the shelf do take a few minutes to educate yourself on the Fire and Light glassware brand. It's very, very popular at the moment and uh, being able to recognize it, you could make yourself quite a bit of profit. Let's keep going here in the kitcheny bits. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that I am going to be speaking at this year's Boss Reseller Remix here in Las Vegas. Uh, during the month of October, I will pop the website at the bottom of your screen here. Tickets are on sale right now. And if you can't make it to Vegas in person to join us, you can also purchase virtual tickets. If you use my code THRIFTLV, it will give you $10 off the price of a virtual ticket at checkout. The conference has been absolutely amazing in years past. I'm really, really excited uh, to be speaking this year. I would absolutely love to meet you if you can make it to Vegas in October. But if not, you can virtually participate uh, with your virtual ticket in real time, ask questions. So it is going to be an absolutely phenomenal time and super duper valuable for anybody who is a reseller. Down on the bottom shelf here is what I think is a project piece. But it's a lovely, lovely triangle pattern. Oh, it does say Color Me Mine, which is a paint your own pottery um, franchise here in Vegas. And I think it's in California too. Really, really fun time to go in there and uh, select a piece, paint it, and then they fire it for you. All sorts of travel mugs and tumblers, kettles, and bakeware here, tins, flower shaker, and the miscellaneous utensils and cutlery. There's a grater, muffin pan, big bag of goodies, coffee accessories, lots of serveware pieces, more utensils, We are having our second look on the shelves to make sure we didn't miss anything, and we did. Hiding under this lovely placemat is a beautiful Vaktersbach German Christmas plate. Look at this. Let me see if I can peel the label and show you the mark. No, that is well and truly stuck. But the design is unmistakable, absolutely gorgeous. I know I have a mug to match this at home. Let's pop it in the cart. They must have snuck out here with a new cart when I wasn't paying attention because look at this on the end here. A beautiful vintage ceramic Christmas tree. The little holes are for 
bulbs that light up when you put a light source underneath. It's only $3. It does have some damage here on the top and uh, on one of the Christmas tree boughs I noticed right here. But we'll have to have a look in the light section to see if the base is there. We'll pop it carefully in the cart. That is amazing. On the other side here, I saw it through the shelf. This party light wall sconce is still here and today it's on half off sale. If someone has two on their wall, they might want to add another. How can you go wrong for $2? I just turned up the crafting aisle on my way to see if I could find the base for that ceramic Christmas tree. And look at these vintage buttons in this bag. I've zoomed in so you can have a look. There's some really old pieces in here. Very elaborate, super decorative. Always pick up vintage buttons. You just never know what you're going to find. There's an absolutely lovely assortment of buttons here and you can use them for display or embellishment. Let's get these into our cart for $5. Some trivial pursuit cards, a bag of crafty bits here, notepads and folders. Ooh, what's this? Very merry moments. Oh, this is a photo book. And from the looks of the bottom panel, you can add a vocal description of all the pictures that you put in here. How lovely. Wouldn't that make a great gift? It's in really nice shape, brand new, and it's on $2 blue tag sale. Look at this lovely wooden bowl. It has a giraffe sculpted into it and his body is the handle. It's absolutely gorgeous and I actually think this is one piece. He is definitely hand painted. He's $5. I wonder if he's part of a set. Let's pop him in the cart and keep an eye out for any other similar pieces. The dovetailed edge of this vintage wooden canister caught my eye. It's two roosters, two dollars, and as I glance up, I see another larger one on the shelf above. The paint on this one is a little bit worn, but that's all right. And I'm going to keep an eye out because canisters like this usually came in sets of three or four. Looking down the aisle, I have spotted a third one. Here it is. This might be a bit of a challenge because the tape is right over the paint. We'll have to see what we can do with a hairdryer. Let's take a stroll through the small appliances and into the lamp section to see if we can find the base for that vintage ceramic Christmas tree. So far, I am not seeing anything, but as I think about it, I might have a spare one at home. Here is the broken shaded vintage fiberglass lamp. I'm just checking to make sure it's the same one it is so sad about that and almost impossible to repair this is strange oh that shouldn't be on there <laughs> this is just a contemporary uh, lamp styled after a vintage piece into the larger appliances down here we've got microwaves and toaster ovens toasters and crock pots the small frames and pictures are next. Little Asian bowl got lost over here. Here is a mini bunt cake maker. Let's see if there's anything interesting here in the small frames and pictures. An excellent place to come if you give uh, framed pictures as gifts. Frames can be ever so expensive, but here at Goodwill, you can usually pick them up for two or three dollars. There's a jeweled one, sadly missing one of the jewels. All different shapes and sizes. A big bag of mini frames here. That looks like uh, abalone on that front one. A 
just don't have a need for those myself and they don't sell too terribly well. I'm looking for original paintings here. Most of these are prints and canvases. Let's keep going. Little chicken art. Into the big frames and mirrors. Taking a look for original artwork, vintage frames, which again are very, very expensive, as are the mat boards. If you go to buy them new or you have uh, pieces professionally framed. Here is a lovely print of a Native American lady. It is a print though and they just don't sell terribly well for me which is why I tend to only purchase uh, original pieces. There's a big bear there, big brown bear, is that a grizzly? I think so. I always check right at the back just to see what might have slipped down. I'm seeing over there a cross stitch. It does look like a child's piece though, something you would hang in a nursery and uh, the market for that is um, not ever so good. So I think I am going to leave that for somebody else. We'll keep going. As always, lots of canvases and posters. Chalkboard there. Lots and lots of inexpensive pieces. You might find at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, Ikea. Framed wolf photograph. Large mirrors. As I look on top here, I look for what uh, I recognize as vintage wood, the vintage frames. It looks to have wear on. Uh, the backing might be paper or fixed with little penny nails, hay penny nails rather than um, clips or uh, metal pieces. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill. First, we have our terracotta painted Greek tragedy mask. It has a hanger on the back. It is signed, I believe that says Hinoi Rodol. It says tragedy. It's $7.99 at Goodwill and I am going to ask $45. Next we have our gorgeous drinking giraffe bowl, hand carved out of one piece of wood, I believe. It is hand painted. I paid $5 for it and I am going to ask $28. Next are Riley Smith Las Vegas Golden Knights bobblehead figure. I paid $8 for him and I am going to ask $25. Back here is a party light red beaded sconce absolutely lovely i passed on it last trip and then i thought if somebody has two they might want a third one to match so for blue tag half off two dollar sale that was a steal i am going to ask 22 dollars i have never seen a dashboard hula man he has a grass skirt playing a ukulele, has a lay around his neck, and I believe he um, dances on your dash as you're driving. I paid $6 for him, and I am going to ask $25. 
Next we have our vintage Main Street Mickey Mouse. That could be Walt Disney he is talking to. It says Main Street USA Magic Kingdom. I paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $20. Back here are matching canisters. They are hand painted roosters. The corners are all dovetailed, beautifully made. They have a set of three. I paid $9 for the three and I am going to ask $48. Let's look at all things Christmas here. First, our absolutely stunning mold vintage Christmas tree. It doesn't have its little lights in it, but those can be purchased really easily on Amazon. Just make sure you get the right size. It does have a little bit of damage I want to point out up here on the top. And one of the branches, let me find it, this one here. It could easily be touched up and uh, when you have a star in the top that chip will barely be noticeable especially if you give it a little dab of green paint. I paid three dollars for it and I am going to ask forty five dollars. As you know, I love these Christmas tree canisters. This is a green to clear fade. It has its original um, plastic bottom. You can put candy in it, little ornaments, decorations, fairy lights, absolutely lovely um, as a little lamp on the table or in your dining room centerpiece. I paid $3 for it and I'm going to ask $20. Staying with Christmas, we have our salt and pepper snowman shakers. Four dollars I paid. They're in perfect condition. I don't think they were ever used. They have their stoppers ready to go. I paid four dollars. I am going to ask eighteen dollars. Here is our German Wachter Spark pottery Christmas tree plate. Absolutely lovely. I love this design. It's so timeless. If you're not familiar, this um, part with the stars and the snowballs here is um, unfinished pottery and the obviously the red is glazed. I wanted to bring out and show you a matching mug I have in my inventory and I am going to offer the two for $25. This is a set of pool balls, Christmas tree lights, or you could festoon them over a doorway, around a wreath, whatever you wanted to do. Really fun for a man cave or a bar. I paid $7 for them. I am going to ask $25, and after the haul, I will plug them in and show you what they look like all lit up. Over here is our bag of vintage buttons. I have spotted some gorgeous pieces in here. And if you are familiar with old buttons, I'm sure you will want this bag. Look at these. I paid $5 for them and I am going to ask $25 or I will take the highest offer. This book is by Hallmark. What you do is add your Christmas or holiday photos in here and then you can record a little description with these buttons to let um, everybody know who's in the picture, what you were doing, favorite memories, favorite gifts. It's a really nice um, memory of the Christmas of your choice and it would make a really super gift for family and friends that can't be with you um, on Christmas. I paid two dollars for it, blue tax sale, I'm going to ask twenty dollars. This set is really beautiful. It's marked Catalina Products. It actually 
reminds me of Folsom pottery, the design and the painting. There's a candle which never which has never been used. Original price eighteen dollars, and a little trinket dish or nut dish, candy dish, change dish. Original price thirteen dollars. I paid three dollars for the pair, and I am going to ask twenty five dollars for the pair. Next we have our little glass uh, votive holder in the shape of a bunny. He's really small and cute, absolutely lovely. You could put Easter eggs, Easter candy. You could use him for um, an egg holder. Many, many uses. I paid $2 for him and I am going to ask $12. Last but not least, my sleeper. These are crate and barrel tea light holders they are the red color and as i explained to you in the store they have a secret stay tuned i will reveal the hidden secret in just a moment oh i paid three dollars on these and i am going to ask 25 dollars Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Goodwill and the haul. As I said, please stay tuned for the big reveal on the Crate and Barrel tea light holders, and I'll show you what the pool balls look like all lit up. Stay tuned also for some footage of uh, Rio and Ziggy and our hummingbirds, and I will see you next time. Bye. Here in my light box, I have our three crate and barrel tea light holders. Stand by as I turn on the black light. As you can see, they are an absolutely stunning amberina glass. They light up a brilliant fiery orange and they're absolutely spectacular. Let me turn them over so you can also see the bottom. They are all three new with tag and I can't imagine <laughs> that the previous owner who donated them knew about this amazing secret. Taking a look at these Christmas uh, pool balls. I believe they are a set of string lights that also includes a set of pool ball ornaments. I'm not seeing that the uh, lights actually go into the ornaments, but let's plug them in and see. Oh, they work just like that. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think they actually have a flashing mechanism. See this red tipped bulb, but that bulb usually means that the set flashes. But if you replace it with a normal bulb, you can have uh, a steady light instead of the flashing. Well, hello, Bear. Are you having a nap? Are you very tired? Hmm? Very tired. He had a lot of ball time at the park today. And it's quite hot, which is always rough on doggies. So when it's hot outside, do make sure they have plenty of shade, plenty of water. And if your dog is panting, panting, give them a couple of ice cubes. <laughs>